Building on what we've been doing for the past two videos where we've learned how to create reusable colour elements and then reusable symbols, we're now going to do exactly the same thing with text hierarchy. I'm going to show you how you can create a basic text hierarchy in XD and how you can reuse this text hierarchy across your whole project. So when you're creating an app, it's really important to have good text hierarchy. For me, it's the difference between a good app and a really great app when someone's really thought about the text hierarchy within their design. So going back to our working file over here, I've grabbed one of the screens from my UI kit and I'm going to show you how you can set up reusable text elements that will then go across your whole design and that you can easily update as well. So I'm going to use the text tool over here. I've already created an artboard called text hierarchy just to house all the different elements of text for us. I'm just going to say this is a blog post header. And I'm going to set that I'm going to set that in something a little larger just so that you can see the contrast between what's there already and what I'm doing. So I'm going to set that around 35. I'm just going to grab some example text from over here and I'm going to set up some paragraph text over here. So for that we want that to sit around maybe 15 or 16 and definitely regular for paragraph text and we'll increase the leading on that slightly to 22. That will make it read a bit nicer. Okay, so we have two basic examples of text here. We have a header and some paragraph text. So we might want to reuse that across our design. So we just go back over here into the character style section. We click add and we then add our paragraph text as well. And wherever we want to change that in our design, we can then just simply change it from that section. And we need to make that a little bit larger and we'll change that out for the larger paragraph text too. Now if we then wanted to change this in a very similar way to how we would change the colours within that asset section, we would come back over to character styles, we would hit edit and we would make the changes up here so that those are reflected across the whole document. So we could then take that down to 30 and you'll see that it updates there underneath character styles and it's updated in our design as well. So that's really good practice to get used to doing right at the beginning of a project, just to set up all your text hierarchy nice and early so that you can use it and remain consistent across all your designs.